So today I'm going to show you how to acid test jewelry, or specifically gold. So what you need, a scratch stone and your acid. You can buy these kits online, they're like 15 bucks, really reasonable. Um, and we have our gold here. So uh, this particular piece is marked 10 karat gold. Um, at our shop in particular, LMK Trading, we don't buy unmarked gold, so I, I don't have any examples to show you. Um, I would be very hesitant about buying any unmarked gold. Anyways, so in order to do that, take a firm grip on it. You want to put a decent scratch. Um, and I say scratch, it doesn't damage the jewelry. Um, I have to, you know, we explain that to a lot of people. It's like such a micro thin scratch, not even noticeable, even under a loop. Um, and then with a chain, especially a smaller one, you want to kind of try to ball it up, not tangle it up, but ball it up so you can get as much of the surface as possible. And just make a decent scratch. And that's sort of what you're looking for right there. You want to have these little lines on it. So, I'm um, actually going to make a couple different lines because I want to show you what happens when you use different levels of acid. And that one. Also, make sure you have a uh, paper towel handle, uh, handy to wipe the acid up after. You want to be very careful when you use this stuff. It, it is acid after all. Um, if you're new to testing, and I recommend wearing gloves um, just as a safety precaution. So this is 14 karat gold acid, 14 karat grade acid. So when you, uh, we're testing for 10 karat gold. So what's going to happen here, and you'll see, is the line is pretty much going to be slowly but surely eaten right up. That just basically means there's some gold in there, but not a lot. Uh, not as much as we're testing for. Um, an, an example, if I put the 18 karat gold acid on, it disappears almost immediately. So if you test that with 10 karat gold and it does that, chances are you don't have real gold. But now, knowing that it's marked at 10 karat, we'll take our 10 karat gold acid solution. And... Put a nice little drop. This is really all you need to do. Just the tiniest drop. Just enough to cover the line. And again, this is sort of what you're looking for. Notice how these are eaten up. Notice how this one's staying. Now you want to give it about 30, 45 seconds just to test fully. But that's pretty much what's going to happen. The line's going to stay intact. Um, again, especially when there's acid on it, be very careful about handling the stone. And um, also, I, I don't really have any examples handy to test and show you, but you want to be very careful with uh, certain chains, certain bracelets. They have very heavy plating. And while nitric acid's pretty accurate, um, it can be tricky with very heavy plating. Anyways, while we're waiting for this, I'll, we're going to start uh, posting videos routinely. Um, we own a pawn shop in Rochester, New Hampshire. Um, so if there's any videos, like tours, any advice you guys would like on jewelry, antiques collectibles, watches, um, video games, retro video games, Nintendo stuff like that, uh, feel free to leave a comment or send us a message. We'll be happy to make any videos you want. We want to know what you guys would like to see. Now... Um, so again, about 30 seconds has passed. And see how it's completely still intact? That's what you're looking for. So now we know this piece is 10 karat gold. Um, typically there's uh, 10 karat gold, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, and 22 karat gold. Um, you will find um, 12 and four, you know, 12 karat gold, but that that's a uh, not common in America, so these are typically your main solutions you're going to deal with. There are silver and platinum solutions. I'll probably make a video on testing silver. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's how you test uh, gold with a nitric acid kit. Have a great day.